Hey everyone, welcome back to the Red Strings Club. We're continuing off last time. Welcome to the Red Strings Club, Diana Mays. Oh, am I that famous? So this person is a consultant engineer from Supercontinent. Damn you, Akara. Don't go saying clients' names. Oh, yeah, because, you know, normally you wouldn't know that. <laughs> How should I cover this? Uh, if she's a consultant engineer, she's probably pretty smart. I told her you were coming. Haha, <laughs> no. I just told her about the distinguished client that was coming. Sorry about that. It's alright. It made me feel important. <laughs> when did you start hiring brats to work at the bar anyway? Are you getting old? Yeah, you know. My leg isn't getting any better, and I thought I could use an extra hand. Ah, <sighs> must be tough facing life without any upgrades, huh? So I guess upgrading and implants are pretty much the norm here already. And the being the one person who doesn't who can't do that, that's a severe handicap. I'm happy. Does that count? Congratulations. Do you have a light? I'm a bar owner. Of course I do. Okay, I'll spare you the preamble and guess why you called me. Is it because of the dead girl at the H Plus Corpse Clinic? Shit, you engineers don't like to waste time, huh? I know your boyfriend works with those Proxima rascals on the regular and figured you want details. Okay, yeah, so Donovan and Brandeis are dating. I thought he was just teasing him earlier when he said he was handsome. And I thought I was the information broker, damn. What's that info gonna cost me? There is some information I'd like you to get me in exchange. This nut will be pretty hard to crack, but I trust you're the best. Now you're gilding the pill. What do you say we start with a drink on the house? Yes, please. I've been dying to sip from one of your cocktails again. Right away, miss. Okay. Hey, Newman, my muse, are you around? This time, it's the real deal. Let's get some info out of this girl. Remember, fill the glass with spirits to tune into the soul discs. Adjust the size of the disc by adding ice to the drink. I filled a notebook with our objectives. Please take a look at them. Are we supposed to get all of these from this one person or just some of them? Okay. Whoa, okay, hold on. Uh, I'll be taking notes, adding facts, and updating the objectives as we progress. So please, check it now and then. Ah, one more thing. Before asking her any questions, think about whether she's in the right mood to answer them. This isn't a video game, ha 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 ha. We can't keep repeating the same dialogue again and again. If you need to change the mood, just serve her another drink and we'll take it from there. In this case, sympathy may draw out confessions and fear may exploit her paranoia. I'll trust your instincts, my magical friend. Alright. Fear. Sympathy. Uh, does it say anything that this circle is so much bigger than this one? Okay, anyway, I didn't actually finish reading just now. What is the social psyche welfare? Yeah, what is the mirror neuron algorithm? We briefly saw this in one of the client profiles when Akasha was in the clinic too. Not sure what that was about. When do they plan to execute this? What role does Akara play in all this? Why is Supercontinent doing this? Is this legal? Is the government aware of this? Okay. Yeah, this is what we know so far. Supercontinent developed this thing called social psyche welfare. They plan to propagate it with the mirror neuron algorithm. We know the COO, we know the CFO. You know these drink names? I'm not even sure how they actually play into this whole thing here because as far as I know, randomly pouring a drink doesn't actually make one of these. So I don't know how to... Well, let's see. Westward absinthe. Distilled in the oldest absinthe stills in the world. This hand-selected combination of 19 herbs, including westward star anise, 
will dance in your mouth and nose, appealing to the left, warmer side of your heart. Huh. Tequila Carlos de Recho. With only 80 bottles produced each year, this exclusive tequila, rich in toasted agave flavors and smoky aromas, will light a fire in you. Its secret recipe is scientifically proven to intensely stimulate the right side of your brain. Okay, so this one stimulates the heart, this one the brain. Were there special things for these two? Uh... Your psyche will dive deep down into your innermost impulses. This one exalts your very soul to rarely met heights. I'm not sure how to make use of this information, but sure. Mm. Let's start with sympathy, okay? And while I was editing the video for last time, I realized that each of these bottles have the direction on them. So this one here, you see it's a, it's an arrow facing the right side. This one facing up. This one left. This one down. So if we want to go up, I guess what we would want to do is bring it over like this. Oh my god. I'm almost pouring outside. Oh! Okay. Okay. No, not the whole thing. Not the whole thing. <laughs> One, two, we're a little bit too high, so now that we know the directions, I think we can probably pour this into the pre-existing drink, as opposed to randomly getting it out of the cup. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Poured a little bit too much though. Okay. Oh, sort of. Let's get it over here, to the right. Good enough. So that would be sympathy. Oh god, you're the fucking best. Why do you need information dealing side hustle when you make cocktails this good? I'm telling you, you should be a world famous bartender. I'm glad you like it. She seems to be in a good mood, what should I start with? Um, it kind of worries me that they're like, this isn't a video game, you don't get a second chance. Yeah, let's just ask her about what she's working on lately. She's gonna be here all night, right? Hopefully. What have you been working on lately? Hey, tell me about how you've been. What have you been working on lately? Is this an official inquiry, or are you just making small talk? <laughs> Do we want to be honest? She is an engineer and she pretty much cut the crap as soon as we got as soon as she got here. So maybe we want to cut the crap too. Depends on what you're working on. Well, it depends on what you're working on now. I knew there was no such thing as small talk with you, Mr. Bartender. Oh, I can do small too. You just happen to be so interesting. Haha, <laughs> man, you tried too hard. But I love it, charming bastard. So is the charm working? Yeah, I guess it's only fair, since I'm commissioning some intel work. Have you heard about SPW, Social Psyche Welfare? Oh, Social Psyche Welfare? Son of a bitch, how did you get that info? <laughs> I wish he didn't say it already. Magic. Wouldn't be your favorite information dealer otherwise. But please, I'd like to hear it from you. I'm sure you're much better versed in the project than my sources. You bet, I'm its fucking director. Oh, new information, Diana Mays is the director. Can I click on this? Ah, these are my notes. Uh, we haven't gotten any of this just yet. Okay, back to here. I've been looking forward to discussing it with someone outside the team. Just... please, don't go leaking it around, or I could be in serious trouble. Of course, I'm a professional. I don't want to be so forward in asking her. She's still feeling sympathy right now, not fear yet. Okay, we have a good thing going on. Tell me more about the social psyche welfare. I guess there's no going back with you now, so I'm going all in. 
Are you ready? Shoot. Social psyche welfare is the greatest revolution in the area of human comfort. We've been working for a long time on designing a system that always keeps the user at their best. SPW is able to tell apart feelings like depression, anxiety, rage, and keep them in check using only the power of your own physiology. It's all natural, no secondary effects. Got information? Can I check my notes again? I'm just, uh... How do I check my notes again? Oh! Oh! So there's three different kinds of information we could have gotten here, but we got information about the SPW. Okay. It's all natural, no secondary effects. Do we want to push a little bit? SPW sounds just like a mind control device to me. Haha, <laughs> that's quite a stretch. Isn't unhappiness what drives us forward? What you're selling sounds like the worst kind of conformism. No one will ever be willing to fight, to rebel, to disrupt our world. That's pretty convenient for corps and governments alike, isn't it? The fine print of eternal happiness is absolute obedience. Don't exaggerate. I'm using SPW right now. Do you see me as a harmless lamb? I don't think so. How can you know? I feel better than ever. See, you're wrong about unhappiness being the greatest motivator. The best goals are born from joy and love. I don't blame you. You've always been a survivor. But those days are almost over. I don't want to sound delusional here, but... SPW is fucking worldwide peace. Can't you see it? Excuse me, but no, I can't see it. The world needs this agreement to keep evolving. Mmm, Donovan, I want to ask more about the objectives we have right now. I don't know if you want to go so hard in your disagreement here. World peace just means eternal slumber. Let me stop you right there before you start making a plea for war. You know that's not what I mean. Only that you just said world peace is bad for humanity. Okay, this argument isn't going anywhere. Let's change the subject. Yeah, let's not be too argumentative here. Isn't SPW going to affect creativity? I hope so. Excuse me? Depression as a source of inspiration is just an unhealthy myth. Maslow's pyramid, baby. To achieve self-realization, the top of the pyramid, to fully embrace creativity, you first have to be at peace. You don't have to be depressed to write a dark tale. You don't have to hate or draw violence. Art is emotion through the filter of calm focus. Okay, but what experiences is the artist supposed to distill if they haven't felt anything before? Oh, but haven't we all felt enough already? Mm, yeah, maybe grown adults. What about new generations? I suppose Supercontinent plans on pushing SPW to the whole population. So if kids are granted everlasting happiness from birth, what are artists supposed to distill? I don't see the problem, Donovan. First of all, it's the government who will determine the minimum age to benefit from SPW. But in any case, art doesn't exist to amuse you. It is but a reflection of the times. If humanity evolves, it's only natural that art evolve with it. If with SPW, we're entering an era of art marked by celebration, so be it. You've really been drinking your own bathwater, huh? I don't understand why you're so radically against total fucking happiness, man. Because being human is all about hating, crying, fearing. And then loving and laughing 
an ephemeral fucking euphoria. Ah. I guess you'll have to wait and see before you realize how good this is for all of us. Hmm, I think we are pushing a little bit too much. I don't really want her to get super, super angry. Yeah. And this is not getting us information anyway. You know, I've had enough SPW for today. Hmm. I'm really excited about all of this. Sorry you're not a fan of it. But just accept it. This is the future. No. The present. Don't let it get under your skin, or you'll ruin that fragile handcrafted happiness of yours. If we wanna... ask her about Ariadne's death, maybe let's try using fear, because sympathy, that's... I don't think that'll be useful here. Let me fix you another drink. Alright. Can we discover other areas? Is it possible that there's hidden areas around here? Who knows? Alright. Pretty bad at pouring. A poor pourer. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Get over here. <laughs> okay, we're we're making it. Oh, are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. And then a little bit of everything in this one, huh? All right. Fear. What do we want to ask about again? The mirror neuron algorithm. Dates. What's Akara's role? Why is Supercontinent doing this? Is it legal? Okay, okay. Hmm. I don't know if we can get all of that information from here, but we'll see. Hmm. Really sour. You don't like it? Yeah, sorry. Listen. I'm starting to get a bad feeling about all this. Do you mind if we do this quick? Of course, no problem. Oh. Fear seems to have taken a hold of her. How do I start? Tell me about Ariane's death. Okay. Tell me about Ariane's death. I don't know much about the actual scene. From what I heard, she was suppressed by the security system. She probably dug too deep. Yeah? How deep? Damn, Donovan. You know I'm putting my life on the line by coming here, don't you? I know, I know. Don't worry, you're safe here. I just want to know why my friend is dead. I'm really sorry. You know that, right? Probably... she... <sighs> I can't. I'm sorry. I can only tell you, she'd probably learn something about one of our more dubious agendas. You'll have to do with that hint and pull your strings elsewhere. We don't want to add me to the body count, do we? Ah, oh, no! Fear made her not willing to share information. Hey, take it easy. Relax. You're among friends here. One friend and a brat? <laughs> Dang it, we got nothing. Okay. I don't know if it's a good idea to continue asking her about this with fear, but we'll see. So, what information do you want from me? You'll have to promise me one thing first. What's that? Promise me that you won't mention my name when you dig into this. That I can do. Don't worry about that. I want to know who the CEO of Supercontinent Limited is. Come again? Can't you just look it up? What you'll find online is that the Supercontinent CEO is Jack B. Gaynor. But I swear to you, he's vanished. No one's seen him for two years. And Supercontinent strategy has become more and more aggressive. New note? Yeah, just notes, not particularly crossing off objectives. Oh, We are really not getting too much um, objectives done here. I hope we're not supposed to all get it from this one person. Uh oh. Why don't you ask your employers? Don't you work for them? I can, Donovan. I'm... I'm scared. 
please, do this for me, and I'll give you whatever you want in exchange. Relax, we can focus on your issue first. That only makes me more nervous about what you'll ask in return. Diana, you're one of my best contacts. I would never cause you harm in any way. Okay, okay. Thanks. Mm, she seems really on edge. Maybe we should switch it up. Let me fix you another drink. Yeah, now I'm wondering a little bit. Earlier, I didn't ask her about everything on purpose because I thought that she might get too mad. But maybe that's not a thing. So next time it comes up again, I think I'm going to try fulfilling every dialogue option. But just by seeing what we've seen so far, it seems like replayability is big in this one. So hopefully we'll make it to the end safely, no matter what. <laughs> oh crap, I just gave her a fear one again. Thank you. Are we done? Uh, no, 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 I was asking for sympathy. <laughs> no talking. God damn it, no talking while I'm doing this. I just saw the bigger circle and I went straight for it. <laughs> okay, this one. There we go. Make her drunk. Ah, so good. She's in a good mood. Why do you want to know about Supercontinent CEO? If you don't mind me asking. I guess a proper explanation is due if I want you to do a decent job. As I said, I believe the CEO is no longer Jack B. Gaynor. I've never met the guy in person, nor was he a celebrity. But he showed his face when necessary. Now, I can't find record of a public appearance that's not at least two years old. He might be dead already. Plus, Supercontinent strategy changed dramatically two years ago. Changed how? I feel like they've become more aggressive, cruelly pragmatic. So? Are you worried because they're behaving like a normal corporation? <laughs> yes. I didn't take you for an idealistic yuppie, Diana. Supercontinent has never been up to any good, no matter how pretty they're marketing. Except they actually serve a greater good. Supercontinent has done a lot for this country and people around the world. Yeah, we've had this debate with Brandeis already. <laughs> for example? Look, Supercontinent is powerful, but they're not a massive corporation. Their fundamental goal isn't to accumulate power, but to grow their ability to help people. Supercontinent's executives are some of the lowest paid among major world corporations. That's because they don't aim for profit, but social change. I've witnessed it all by myself. I'm part of it. Supercontinent plays a corporate game, but their goals aren't so different from yours. Supercontinent has fought many unjust laws, keeping governments in check. Supercontinent pleads for decent housing for everybody. And they offer free legal representation to those who can't afford it. Hell, a few years ago, they dismantled the entire city police because of corruption. Oh. Well, that was two years ago, right? So she's fearing now because that's beginning to change. If they're so nice, what do you have to fear? That's the problem. I feel like they're not so nice anymore. I mean... The ideals and objectives are still laudable. But they've become heartless in some way. A lot of brilliant employees have been dismissed with little reason. They're squeezing us to our limits with aggressive goals and deadlines. Like they have a big agenda that they need to execute at any cost. Jack B. Gaynor wouldn't have allowed that. So it's a question of job comfort, eh? Ha. <sighs> I wish that was the extent of it. I don't want to sound paranoid, but... It's hard to get work done when I think my life is in danger. Ooh, that's not job security, that's life security. Hmm, 
Yeah, that's harsh. Okay, I'll gather as much intel as I can. Ah, Donovan. If I hadn't removed that part of my brain that processes love, I swear I'd fall for you every time. Wow. I don't know how you do it, but I always leave the club shaking. I'm starting to think you're putting something in my drinks. Of course not. Ha, <laughs> just alcohol, I swear. But I'm glad I can get through your ice-cold processors and stir those artificial feelings of yours. Hey, they're not artificial, they're just upgraded. Emotion can be a pitfall for a scientist like me. Better to have them in check. You want to live more dangerously, Diana. Inspiration plays a big part in being a memorable scientist. Maybe. I'll make sure to come back to the club anytime I need some good old mojo. Please do. I should be leaving now. Thanks for the drinks, the chat, and the info. And please, call me as soon as you get something on Supercontinent CEO. I will. Thank you for coming, Diana. My pleasure. Hmm. Thank you for coming. See you next time, Diana. Okay, Akara, listen. Never again say a customer's name. Why not? Because it makes them feel uncomfortable and paranoid. I was taught that repeating someone's name builds trust and familiarity. You're not wrong, that's actually a documented social thing. But only if they told you their name to begin with. <laughs> yeah, but the Red Strings Club is a haven of sorts. My clients value their anonymity. If you blab their names right when they come in, they'll think I told you all about them. And you're supposed to be a mere trainee. Leave the name dropping to me. Understood. I'm sorry, Donovan. Don't sweat it. Just keep it in mind, Hakara. It won't happen again, Donovan. Very well, Hakara. Let's focus on your aptitudes instead of your weaknesses. Did you learn anything? Get any interesting insights from your empathic algorithms? Indeed. However, I don't see an easy way to properly communicate them. You want me to plug you in? Okay. So I'd like to propose a game. A game? You're full of surprises. Play is one of the most primal human devices for learning and development. Transmitting the vast amount of data I've gathered from your conversation with Diana is impossible. So I've designed a process to let you reach your own conclusions. Oh. Okay, that's actually pretty good, because if it becomes a game of telephone, then what Akara tells me might not be fact anymore. Moreover, I get to better understand you, so we can improve as a team. Sounds like pro-HR talk. But sure, I'm in. How do we play? I'm going to ask you a series of questions, 10 to be exact. I have my own answers to them, but I am most interested in your input. When we are finished, I will let you know how many of them you got right. Oh, okay. Right wrong answers? If you score at least 7 out of 10, I'll grant you a new skill. What? A new skill? Did they use the AI of an RPG villager to build you? And what the hell? Can you even do that? A game without reward proves to be very dull. And yes, I can grant you something to improve your bartending skills. Why don't you just give it to me now? I'm designed to make you happy, a much different thing than granting your every wish. Hmm, <laughs> we learned that already with the pottery. Huh. Yeah, okay, giving people things to work for, that makes people happy. <sighs> Sometimes I feel like you're some dumb mannequin, but now... I believe the very devil could be running through your circuits. Shall I begin? Ha, <laughs> this is exciting. You're more twisted than I thought. Give it to me. Is Diana physically attracted to you? Come again? What kind of question is that? And how am I supposed to know? Please, just answer my questions. I know what I'm doing. Is Diana physically attracted to you? Well, when she left, she mentioned that, you know, she was into me. Is Diana 100% loyal to Supercontinent Limited? So she's basically testing me on how much attention I was paying to that conversation just now. 
<laughs> okay. All right. I'll try my best. No. Is she proud of the social psyche welfare? Yes. Would Diana be happier without the effects of SPW? Debatable, but I'll say no. Does Diana know about the mirror neuron algorithm? Mmm, we didn't get information about that from her, so I'm gonna say no. As far as we know, no. Who is the person that Diana most admires? Oh shit. Ah. Uh, I don't remember hearing Nikola Tesla. Well, she did mention the old CEO's name quite a few times. She's like, he would never do that. He would make sure that the company is doing good things. So maybe it is this guy. Or by which I mean Jack B. Gaynor, not whoever the current CEO is. Could it be me though? Okay, 7 out of 10. I'll throw this one away. Regarding your bartending, what spirit does Diana enjoy the most? <laughs> oh! Uh, we had four drinks, or a four raw ingredient alcohol things. Were each of them represented by one entry in the notebook? Is that what was happening? Oh god, I don't know. Oh. It's the sympathy one. She likes the sympathy one, which means she likes the one that points upward. Which one was the one that pointed upward? It was the brown bottle. So would that be... <laughs> I don't even know how to identify the alcohol by the bottle. I'll say bourbon. Did Diana lie to you during your conversation? I don't think so. What is Diana's greatest fear right now? She fears being killed by supercontinent. So I guess this one. Is social psyche welfare as bad as you thought? This one I can't fail since it's my opinion, no? Freebie. Maybe. It's as hard as not lying. Is SPW as bad as you thought? <laughs> no, but it should be optional. I mean, nowadays, you can have whatever psychoactive drugs you want. Becoming a smiling bastard should be the decision of the implant wearer. The silent update is a crime, no matter how you look at it. Okay, that was the last question. Did I pass? Yes! Oh god, which one did I get wrong? You got 9 out of 10 questions right. Congratulations, you are a sharp man, Donovan. Well, that sounds a little condescending, but thank you. Which one did I get wrong? Can you tell me that? What did I win? I'm going to produce a short span memory resetter for you. Is that a cool name for a shot? Oh, so I can fail conversations, right? A little bit. No. One of my abilities is to synthesize psychoactive drugs. The system was designed to deal with emergency anxiety, crises, and such. But given the unusual context we're in, I can widen its purposes. Add this to a client's drink, and they will think they just sat at the bar for the first time. That way, you can explore different paths in a conversation without them noticing. That sounds crazy and a bit immoral. Why? Aren't you manipulating them with your drinks? Naturally! Natural manipulation! <laughs> I thought this would be helpful. Huh, you got me there. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. I'm sorry, Donovan. It's okay. I'll save it for an emergency. Say, how much of this can you produce? Not much. I have a limited chemical repository for such purposes. So I'd rather keep these as prizes for our little games. How playful of you. Oh, so it's not... It's a limited stock thing? Okay. Gotcha. Let's keep it like this, then. <laughs>